<laughs> I can't because it's just out there waiting. You're like pretending to work the alarm. No, I'm restarting my computer. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I'd show you a bit of a mini tutorial about one of the looks that I do for our shows. Tonight we're doing a 70s show and I really like it because we can go really full out with our makeup and use multicolour. So this is my only multicolour look that I have for any of my shows and um, yeah, I thought I'd just do a little tutorial to show you how I do it. So I'm probably going to put you on a bit of a time lapse now and I'll try and explain as I go what I'm doing. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so before we start, I just thought I'd show you the organised carnage on my desk and this is what I'll be using. So what I did was started off with a lime green colour from my Juvia's Place palette and just started from the corners and worked my way into the centre because we're going to be doing a lot of layering with these colours. And then I grabbed a darker shade of green and just started going over the centre of my eyelid working out to the outside. And I sincerely hope you appreciate all of my makeup faces that I'm making. So attractive, but we all have them. Next I'm working from the outside in with a like a sea blue kind of colour to complement the green that I've just done on the centre and really blend that in. Well okay, now we're getting quite spicy. We've got this very bold pink colour that I'm just going to go over the top of my crease with. Um, don't go too high up because you want to leave some space between the brow um, and the pink, but definitely be generous with this. And you can actually take this pink almost right to the corner. Okay, the next layer that I'm adding is a dark purple and I'm starting from the outside towards the centre and I'm going to use it just to blend in the blues the greens and the pink. Next up I'm going to grab this gorgeous kind of translucent purple colour that I've got from my Morphe palette and I'm just going to start from the corner of my eye and work my way out um, just blending in the pink and the green. Okay, moving on to that space that we have above the pink, I've just got a white, or you can also use a nude coal pencil, just to kind of highlight that space there underneath the brow and it does not have to be too neat and you don't have to fill in every gap because we are going to blend for our lives which I'm doing now with a glitter white or again translucent eyeshadow and just use that to kind of blend everything together. One thing I will say is that because this was a stage look and it was a 70s look I actually didn't blend in the pink to the white as much as I would normally but feel free to like smudge that out and just make it a bit more um, gradual. Okay, so I've just prepped my eyebrows by giving them a little brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some quite bold brows using this little flat tipped brush that I have. Right, so eyes are now done, removing that tape that I've used as a guideline and now I'm gonna start on my base. I have already prepped and primed my skin so I am just going to go ahead now and grab my foundation, which I always like to use a yellow shaded foundation for stage work, just because I think it picks up the light really, really well. Um, but if you are using this as a more natural look, then obviously just use your normal foundation shade. I always use my clean fingers to blend in my foundation but obviously a little brush or a makeup sponge is absolutely fine to use as well. Now I did actually skip 
filming me putting my setting powder, bronzer and blush on just for the sake of time for this video because I just use my normal stage bronzer which is a darker brown for my skin than I would usually have and then I also use like a cherry coloured blush and a Juvia's Place white highlighter. So moving on to underneath the eyes now, I'm just priming my under eyes with this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I'm basically going to do the same look as I did on the top of my eyelids but I'm going to do it in reverse and do it underneath. So I've started with the light green, I'm then going to blend out with the darker green and the blue, adding some purple and pink. You'll also notice that I have actually put on my stage lashes and I have done a thin layer of black eyeliner on the top as well with a little flick and that is what I will use to join up the pink and purple on the outside just as a guideline of where to stop. <laughs> Just as a finishing touch to the eye area, I have got a green eyeliner and I'm doing a kind of reverse flick. Okay, next up is possibly my favourite bit because I'm absolutely obsessed with glitter. So I'm just popping a pea-sized amount of glitter glue uh, above each eyelid and I'm just adhering some gold glitter stars. And just time for our finishing touches now, I have got some black mascara, I'm just going to do a thin layer along each bottom lash line. And then I am going to line my lips with a nude lip liner and follow that on with a nude lipstick. And you can actually go as bold as you like with this lip colour because after all we are going all out for this look. Uh, but I just used a coffee coloured nude. But aside from that, we are essentially done. This is my finished look, so thank you so much for watching this video. I will put my makeup Instagram on the screen. Check out my other tutorials on my makeup tutorials playlist, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!